رايح البيت الجيران فاتما سلم علينا يمكن الحيل زعلان بالنسبة لطفل صغير for a child the word war wasn't very familiar a child's mind is imaginary so we weren't aware of this word. It was a really tragic night, being suddenly made to leave your home, your friends, the people you already know. It was really terrible. Hala Amir is 20 years of age and grew up in the Iraqi city of Mosul. My childhood was a lot of fun. I was kind of a naughty child. I was constantly moving, I was running from one neighborhood to another, playing with different children. We all miss those days, but they still live on in our minds. Hala and her family are Catholic, and this is something that's very important to her. Did you always have a strong faith growing up? Yes, the church is our second home. My father is a deacon and my mother is very active as well. My uncle is a priest and I myself am very active in the parish. So the faith starts in your own home and then the church grows in our own lives. Another passion of Hala's growing up was always poetry and singing. And what was it, Hala, about poetry that you loved? Was it a way for you to express yourself? Poetry is part of my life. I read and write Arabic poetry and I love it all. Yes, I like especially the Ghazal, which is a romantic poetry. It's closest to my heart, and when I read it, it raises my spirit up within me. Hala, you are a romantic. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> when Hala was just 14 years of age, her world was turned upside down when the war started, and her family, along with thousands of others, had to flee from ISIS. Hala, take me back to that night when you and your family had to evacuate your house. You had to flee your home. It was difficult because you were used to something specific and suddenly you have to get used to another environment. That night when we left our home, we walked some kilometers away to reach another county. It was a really tragic night, being suddenly made to leave your home, your friends, the people you already know. It was really terrible. But also our way of thinking changed from childish thoughts to an adult way of thinking. We didn't live our teenage years. We became more aware of the serious matters in life, like the meaning of family. We saw children and old people killed before our eyes. After three and a half years, it was eventually safe enough for Hala and her family to return to their home in Mosul and start to rebuild their lives. But it still saddens her today when she sees Christians continue to be persecuted in Iraq. Seeing your country get worse day after day makes you feel bad because of the unusual situation. And it keeps getting worse day after day in many areas of life. And this makes us really sad. Today, Hala is studying dentistry at college in Mosul, and her faith is as strong as ever. Sure, this has an effect on your way of thinking and on the faith, the experiences you live. In the war, we formed a strong personality, one that doesn't fear, facing life and the reality. So also our faith has been changed through the daily troubles. And when you pray, and when you see that God is listening to you, your faith becomes stronger and deeper. How do you feel about Pope Francis coming to visit your nation, the first pope to ever visit Iraq? The Pope's visit will have an effect on the general atmosphere in Iraq, of course, maybe also on the Iraqi Christians, but it will not change the position of the Christians who left Iraq after the war, and the life we used to have will not come back. The visit of the Pope will be a very nice gathering, to celebrate moments, be all together, but after he leaves Iraq, things will go back to the way they were. We just want to live in peace, like any other normal human being. Column Flynn for EWTN News In Depth.